Welcome to a couple of videos that I have done to clarify my points in an article that I call Bach's Ideas on Fingering the Cello. All manuscripts of Johann Sebastian Bach are of the highest interest to the classical music world, of course. Even the smallest details are important if they can bring us closer to the understanding of Bach's composing, thinking and likings. Out of this perspective, Bach's fifth suite for solo cello stands out. Here Bach clearly wants the cellist to tune down the highest string a whole step from A to G. In the score, Bach calls this discotata. There is another word for that. It's scortatura, but I will use the word discotata. To facilitate the reading of this phenomenon, Bach notates every note that is meant to be played on the top string one whole step higher. The cellist can now read his score without transposing and still achieve the sounding note Bach intended. Nowhere else Bach wants his string instrument tuned down out of the normal. Since there exists now two different notations for every note, one on the top string and one for the G string, we clearly see in which string Bach expected us to play. A sounding G can, for instance, be created both at the stopped D string and at the open top string. If this is what he wants, he writes G on the paper. If this is what he wants, he writes A. The same, of course, for the sounding A flat, written A flat, but written D flat, B flat, if he wants it done on the top string. If he wants an A, he writes an A on the D string, but he writes a B if it's gonna happen on the top string, and so on. After that, we can see from D and up the notation and exactly which string Bach wanted us to play. And we can, out of this, deduct the fingerings he wanted to use. We can also see other things. We can see which color of sound he needed, he, he, uh, he wanted us to do. We can definitely uh, see when legato was important for him, because then he would say in the same string. And we can even once in a while see uh, some musical directions that are very inspiring and that we cannot find anywhere else in the, in, in the handwriting, in the manuscripts of Bach. I have one example that I would love to show you, and uh, this is maybe one of the most famous uh, movements of all the 36 movements for solo chill, the Sarabande first note. It is a G. And this G, as before mentioned, you can achieve both by the fourth finger and by the open string. The first note in the Sarabande is a G. So, we have now, Herr Bach has, has two options that he can show us by, no, by writing it differently. The first option could be the open string. Pretty important note. The other option is taking the G on the D string. The two 
option sounds pretty different. I would like to show you. This is one. This is another. To me, this sounds darker and more colored than the open string, which sounds open, natural, and forthcoming. So, what did Bach actually feel about the first note in the Sarabande? He felt the stopped string and not I can't tell you exactly why he preferred this option, but my guess would be that Bach would prefer the legato to the not that legato changing strings. And maybe he, pref he preferred the darker sound to the more open sound, which actually corresponds very well with the spirit in this sound. This is only one of many ideas you can have from analyzing the handwriting. And I will be happy if I can be, get back to you in other videos telling some more about it. Thank you.